As India struggles with its worst COVID wave, a political face of bruise over diplomats seeking help. On May 1st, the New Zealand High Commission in India tagged the Congress Party's youth wing seeking help for finding an oxygen cylinder. Responding to the call, the Congress claimed to have provided oxygen cylinders to the High Commission. Indian Youth Congress's president also tweeted a video of the delivery. The tweet read, and I quote, New Zealand High Commission to open gates of the embassy and accepted cylinders. Also, they thanked the SOSIYC team for this quick relief as patient inside embassy was critically ill, unquote. Meanwhile, the New Zealand High Commission deleted its tweet and posted a new one, apologizing for misinterpretation of its earlier appeal. Not just New Zealand, the Congress earlier claimed to have helped the Philippines Embassy. The incident also led to a Twitter battle between Congress leader Jairam Ramesh and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar. Ramesh said, and I quote, While I thank IYC for its stellar efforts, as an Indian citizen, I'm stunned that the youth wing of the opposition party is attending to SOS calls from foreign embassies. Is the MEA sleeping, Dr. S. J. Shankar? Unquote. The External Affairs Minister responded to his tweet. He said, and I quote, MEA checked with the Philippines Embassy. This was an unsolicited supply as they had no COVID cases. Clearly for cheap publicity by you know who. Giving away cylinders like this when there are people in desperate need of oxygen is simply appalling. Unquote. Jay Shankar added and I quote, Jay Ramji, MEA never sleeps. Our people know across the world. MEA also never fakes. We know who does. Unquote. Jairam Ramesh then tagged S.J. Shankar on Indian Youth Congress's video and asked him if the efforts of the youth were a cheap publicity.